You are where you are and that is awesome. What do I really need? And only you really know, what do you need to focus on in the moment? Hi there, Jody Bentley here, actor, producer, and career coach. And today I wanna to talk about um, that you are where you are and that is awesome. So what do I mean by that? Well, um, I, I was coaching a woman in my mastermind group um, the other night, and she had laid out, or we had actually laid out the week prior, um, all these steps that she was going to do and the exercises she was going to do in terms of branding. It was one of the reasons uh, that she joined the group is to, is to get coached on that. So she came to the next session of the group. Let's, um, let's call her Kelly, and Kelly comes to the session, and she felt a lot of shame around that she didn't do a lot of the work that on the branding work that she was supposed to do right um however she did start um doing some of the excuses and limiting belief work that i also teach about and that's in um my actors think tank membership so she had done some of the exercises in that and we started um talking through that and recognizing the patterns that she had and and i gave her some risks to take that week and some challenges to do to push through some of the fear that had been coming up for her and at the end of, of her time in Mastermind, she just felt so much better and relieved almost and validated um, in her choice to focus on something else, even though she really wanted to focus on the branding. So this is why I say, you are where you are, and that is awesome. Because look, you can come in with the best of intentions in, in your life and in your week of going, I'm gonna get A, B, C, D, and E done, right? And if you're trying to do A, B, C, D, and E, but all of these other things are popping up in your life, right? All these other maybe open loops that need to need attention, or or maybe it is like Kelly, these these excuses and limiting beliefs that kept rearing its ugly head, and she knew that she needed to address them before moving on. So when you aren't getting certain things done on your to-do list and you are going into self beat up mode on it, I also invite you to examine in, in it, examine it in a way of, okay, and is this the most important thing for me to be doing right now? I know it's what I want to do because I have these goals and what do I really need? Well, Kelly really needed to get clear on what was getting in her way and what had historically been holding her back so she could now approach her career in a new way. So again, you are where you are and that is awesome. And only you really know what do you need to focus on in the moment, right? You know if it's a distraction or if it's something you really need to do. We just get to really tune into our bodies and do ourselves to fully understand Mm, our, our, our impetus behind things, right? But I just was so uh, acknowledged Kelly for her um, decision to go, I really need to do this. And now she has a better place to jump from when we do get in branding, but now she's taking her time to get through this work because she's recognized that she really needs to shed a lot of baggage before really jumping in and moving forward with defining branding and marketing herself. So you are where you are. And that is awesome. And if you don't get to all the stuff on the to-do list, examine why. And maybe you just really need to be focusing on something else to be able to move forward in the area that you want to be. All right. I trust this helps. I will see you soon. Bye.